little fella. Little mama and a little baby. She's so precious. What's going on, y'all? It's cold out. You see everybody's asleep. This cold weather has inspired me to make something I believe you guys are going to love. And it's going to be a great way to wake everybody in the house up. Old Fuzz is coming over to get him a bite because, listen, what I'm about to prepare for you is going to change your household forever. I'm about ready to show you how I make my sloppy joe casserole. Join me over here, as always, and I'm going to show you what you need. First off, you're going to need a couple pounds of hamburger meat. Large can of sloppy joe mix. Two cans of diced tomatoes. Box of your favorite pasta. One pack of mozzarella cheese. One pack of shark cheddar. Can of corn. An onion. And some garlic. Now what you want to do is get your Dutch oven. God, I'm out of that thing's heavy. <laughs> Bring it to a medium high heat. Go ahead and add your hamburger meat. And a couple cloves of garlic. So you just a tiny bit of salt to it. You don't want to put too much because your tomatoes and everything else will probably have salt. And then add you some pepper. Now that you got this halfway browned, what you want to do is just go ahead and add your diced onions. And I almost forgot, you know us. Throw you in some mushrooms. If you like them, I know most people don't. But we do. Now that you got your hamburger meat, browned and drained what you need to do is add your big can of manwich your two cans of diced tomatoes your can of corn your noodles and a cup of water and you return this to the heat get everything good and mixed up Get everything blended, the corn, the juices, the tomatoes, get it all together. And you're going to cover it up, let it sit there and simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Did the smell of the good food wake them you up? Are you watching Mama and Baba again? Are you watching your favorite show? No. Oh, man. It's almost done. I know it smells delicious in here. Oh, man. Man, look at that. Just look at that. Mmm. Now, once you get these noodles tendered up, you want to take your bag of mozzarella cheese. Add it all right in there. And mix it all in. Not to mention, you're going to want to put your oven on. Bake at 375. Let it be preheated. Now, take your sharp cheddar cheese. And cover the whole top up. Now just take your whole Dutch oven, put it right in your oven, and bake for about 10 to 15 till that cheese is melted on top and nice and bubbly and brown. And now is the time for the great reveal. Look at that, y'all don't even know. Are you having fun playing with your toys over here? Uh, oh, did the food draw you out of bed or something? Uh, it drew her out of bed. <laughs> yeah, right, it drew you out of bed. It, it drew her out of bed. Mm -hmm. She got hungry. <laughs> yeah, her. She don't even know what that smell is yet. I was just thinking that kid don't make a peep, so I, I'm calling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, little mama smelled the sloppy Joe casserole. I think she did. I got a makeup Yeah, I know you smelled it. It smells amazing, don't it? Now just let this rest for probably 10, 15 minutes. It's going to be way too hot to eat right now, so just let it settle. But y'all going to love this. Oh, I cannot wait to tear into this. Are you ready for bite bites? Thank you. You're so nice. Are you ready for bite bites? <gasps> you are. Say dada. I'm a mama. Mama! Mmm, mmm, mmm. Good grief.
grief, that looks good. It looks good. What do you t mm, tell me? Tell me. Tell me about that right there. Mm. Oh, that's good. Great. Mm. Oh, now you're just going to ruin it. That's like putting A1 sauce on a steak. <laughs> See, even Colton says it. All right, now let me try about. I didn't get no cheese either. That's bomb. I told you. That's bomb, y'all. It's literally like a $25 meal that is going to feed your family for a couple yeah. days, just depending on the size of family you have. But, guys... You have to try this out, and if you enjoy it and you try it, share it. Share the love of our cooking videos and our just down-home family fun. I hope y'all enjoy this. It's the Hillbilly Sloppy Joe Casserole. Cheers. Are you going back for seconds? Yes, I am. Are you really? Boy, that plate went on a hell of a bit. Yeah, what do you think about it, folks? Seconds on my plate. Yeah, a big old pile of seconds. It was about as big as the pile of the first. Uh, I'm about to flip you off. Second or third. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm not going to lie. This is close to being as good as the baked spaghetti. Yeah, that's really good. Like, it's delicious. Y'all going to love this. If you try it, you're absolutely going to love this. <gasps> um, you heard him. Mmm, buddy. You're a mess. Yeah, he is. You were a hot mess over there. Are you about ready for breakfast? You are? Good morning, Cece. She looks like a little baby doll. You want some? Okay, let's do breakfast. Fist bump. I don't get one. That's okay. You're cute. Hey. Good? All right. Good job, baby. Morning. Me and Sean were talking last night and wanted to let you guys in on something. Now, when we put up videos, the notifications don't definitely doesn't go out to everybody. So, what we've decided to start doing, what we do is we comment, say a video goes up today at six o'clock, seven o'clock. We will go back on the last video and like in all your comments because that will send you guys a notification the hillbillies hearted your comment. When we do that, that way you guys will be aware that we just put a new video up or a new video is getting ready to launch. When we heart your comment or you see that we've commented back to you on YouTube, that means we have launched a new video. So, you guys will know. Is that good? You guys, he is so picky about meat these days. He used to eat anything. And now, like chicken, I mean, he loved it all. Now, he's picky. These little Polish sausages, they're 100% beef he loves. He quit eating his egg. I think he got burnt out on it. So, Mama is skipping egg for a couple mornings. And he loves those sausages, though. <laughs> he eats them good. Feet bump. Awesome. He eats them really good every morning. My well, mama sits here and has coffee, and he sits there and watches his little miniature TV. <sighs> hey, it's time to get your diaper changed. Hey, you. It's time. Ah, no, you don't want to, but we have to. <laughs> Let's go. It's time to get your butt cleaned. You need a clean diaper. You need a clean diaper. Get back here. Get back here. Get, oh, get it clean. It's time to get it clean. Good morning. Good morning. You decided to grace us with your presence. 
Is that coffee good? You're welcome. A little cold, how long ago did you make it? Um, I don't know. My mornings are pretty wild, so I, it's, it's, it might be cold. Probably about 30 minutes ago. We decided to let y'all in on a little bit of our morning routine. Mine has doubled now because I got two BBs, so I have to get up a little bit extra earlier, and I try to quietly, you know, get out of the bed so I don't wake Colton up. I get her, get her down here, get her bottle made, feed her, change her, play with her a little bit, you know, interact with her, talk to her. Then about that time, the wild man wakes up. And when he wakes up, the whole, the whole house is getting up. Then I gotta get the dogs. Well, while I'm doing his breakfast and it's, you know, heating up on the stove, I get the dogs, theirs out because I can't leave their food down right now because somebody likes to flip the water bowl over and just throw the food everywhere. So we've switched to bag food. It's real meat. It's all natural, of course, because our pugs are allergic to life pumpkin or pugly and zoe they're literally allergic to life so they have to eat all natural but i feed them three times a day three times a day while he's in his high chair and put their water down for him and then at night when he goes to bed we put their water down for him and they stay up here with me and zoe for about two hours so my morning routine's wild anymore it's it's hectic this now when dad gets up is finally mama's decompression moment because I've been going for, I don't know, two hours. I'd say this is probably my busiest time of day, is the morning time. Me and Colton, I gotta wake Cece back up, change her diaper again, because she has exploded. Gotta wake her up, change her diaper, and then me and this wild guy, we got to sit down and do some flashcards and a book. Do you want to read your book? What? We gotta do a little bit of school this morning. Yeah, sometimes we'll like, read a book and build some blocks and take them in or put them um dump them out of his little block thing and then we'll do colors and put them back in but this morning we're going to do our flashcards and a book all right all right are you jacked up on blueberries and strawberries you are was that a good breakfast <laughs> elephant <laughs> what's a giraffe do <laughs> a giraffe <laughs> It's got a big old tongue, don't it? What does a truck do? <laughs> He's getting his flashcards down, Pat. He definitely gets stuck on his favorite things like an elephant, a giraffe, a car. <laughs> he knows the horse now, too. He can find the horse and the orange juice. So, he's doing really good. <sighs> Lord Jeebus, this is worth filming. We have not seen the sun in two weeks. And look, a little bit of sun, it's peaking. There it is. I, I had to y'all, that was, it was film worthy. The sun, we've not seen it in two weeks here. How insane is that? Two weeks. Oh, thank you. It makes me very happy. My energy goes up when the sun's out. Is anybody else like that? The sun literally gives me life. It gives me energy. I think. Kind of gives everything life and energy. I it mean. does. Definitely my brain though. It makes me super happy. My brain still ain't firing yet. I know, my brain really ain't either. So we've been over here doing flashcards and some blocks and colors. How do you always end up with my brush? <laughs> I love his elephant sound. It's an airplane. <laughs> Do it, Bubba. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it, baby. Is that what a fish does? He does the swim, swim, swim with his hands. Say circus. So Dada is taking a few minutes before he goes starts work to do some flashcards too. What's this? What's it do? That's what it does, ain't it? <laughs> That's what it does. Good job, bud. All right, I got to go to work. Uh, That's too mean. You got a poopy diaper to clean. Oh, you're I kidding see. me. Don't you dare run downstairs. Hey, 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 don't you dare. All right, you guys, we are going to end this video here. We are getting ready to decorate the living room. So... I know that sounds really boring, but trust me, 
it won't be. It's going to be absolutely entertaining because Colton's going to be going nuts while we do this. And uh, me and Sean will probably be bickering and arguing back and forth about what goes where and what looks good where. You know, because Sean thinks he, he has this decorating thing down pat. I gotta give him credit. He does pick out nice stuff, but putting it all together, he needs to leave that to mama. Just trust me on that one. But we love y'all. Hope you enjoy the food and uh, make it. The leftovers are so much better. Something else I was gonna throw in there, throw you a green bell pepper in there. Throw you some mushrooms in there. It's so bomb. Y'all have to make it and it's cheap. That's the best part about it. And there's definitely always going to be leftovers unless you got a huge, huge family. Just depends on how much you make, I guess. But we'll see y'all on the next one. Stay positive, stay country, and stay true to your roots.